What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be teaching you sound design. Okay, sound design is something that is pretty complicated and I am not a professional at it, but I got an interesting sound to show you. Um, so I made this little bass thing earlier and um, well actually like a week ago. Today, we're going to be trying to recreate that and yeah. First of all, we're going to drag in Citrus from our uh, synth plugins and you're going to hear this sound at first and that's the default sound that comes with Citrus once you load the plugin. So we're going to be clicking presets and going to default. Okay, so now, how do we make a bass? Okay, listen to this. Wow, that's pretty high and that's not very bassy, right? So first of all, you see this thing where it says 2.000x that is basically uh, the place where you want to change your synth to a more bassy part okay so let me just first explain this I am hitting C5 right now and it produces this sound if I reduce this number which is 2 and I divide it by half so which is gonna be 1 and we're gonna change this down to 1 let's listen to 2 again I'm going to change the 1, it's going to be 1 octave lower. So whenever you divide the number by half, you're going to get uh, a sound that's 1 octave lower. And if you multiply it by 2, then you're going to get a sound that's 1 octave higher. So we're going to divide 1 by 2 again, and we're going to have 0 0.5. And we have an even lower sound. And wow, that's basically what a sub bass is. Um, a sub bass is basically a normal sine wave, just like that, sub bass, easy. But today we're not going to be making something that simple. I mean, why would you watch this video unless you want to create that squelch bass? Um, so we're going to be using uh, a square wave, and it sounds like this, ear rape, amazing. Nice. <laughs> okay, um, you might think, okay, this does not sound anything like the Squelch bass, but that is that is true. That is technically true. Um, for the Squelch bass, um, you can hear that it's like, wow, bow, 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 like that. And, um, and basically, we're going to go to volume here and envelope and enable the envelope. What the envelope does is it um, controls the volume. Of the output so for example if we have this really long here it's gonna uh, slowly increase in volume like this okay now we're gonna make it really close and let's hear the difference much faster to, to the peak volume but if we're to drag this all the way to the left it's gonna activate the sound instantaneously and it's gonna get that punch okay um for this, this is the decay, and after this point, this determines uh, what level the sound will descend to while you're still pressing the button. So right now it's gonna be right now if I click it, it's gonna uh, the sound's gonna start from here and it's gonna go down here and it's gonna stay in this volume like this. And when I release it, it's gonna go down here. But if we Put this down right here for example one two three four on the fourth one it's gonna sound like a pluck and we're gonna turn this down because we don't need that it's gonna sound like that pretty interesting right and you're still like oh wait that does not sound like the squelch bass yet okay we're gonna route this synth to insert number one so right here we're gonna name it synth let me just show you something cool we're gonna pull in a fruity parametric parametric EQ2. We're gonna make this um, seventh band uh, shape something like this. Okay, this is close to the default sound and it sounds like this. If we put it down like here, listen very carefully. Wow, very different. Now that is one of the amazing things about sound design is that, you know, the filter can actually change the sound by so much that well, well normally you wouldn't imagine 
and it makes the sound sound like a totally different sound. So if we automate this seventh band and we do something like this, you, you guys starting to hear that now? Once I hit the note and I pull this down, you guys can hear that. It's like, it's like a totally different sound and you get that wow sound. So we're going to delete that. We're going to use a filter. Okay. The filter is something that's similar to the fruity parametric EQ2. I mean, fruity parametric EQ2 is actually a type of filter or in other words, an EQ. Um, we're going to turn this to a low pass. So it's going to look something like what we did just now. We're going to turn this to three because I think it sounds better with that. And we're going to uh, operator one. And in this matrix, we can go down to here, one and filter one. And if we do this, the sound of that operator one is going to come into the filter one. And right now, turn this output to the max. And then this filter and the audio from operator one goes to filter one and out to our ears. So you guys can hear that. It's a low filter. So we move this. You guys hear that? If we put this to max, it's going to sound pretty similar to the original. But there's something that's pretty cool. You can actually automate this. So go to cut and basically it moves the filter like what I demonstrated with the uh, parametric EQ2 just now and we're gonna enable the envelope once again and we're gonna use this and do something of the same shape Wow amazing that is just mind-blowing like that but we're not going to actually have this this high because I don't really like that really high click sound so we're gonna pull this down maybe like a little bit maybe a little higher like that and we get something very close to the squelch bass now but we only got that first clicking part done we're gonna still have to make the sub bass part and the sustain so you guys can actually use the sound in your songs as a sub bass replacement so as I demonstrated earlier in this video uh, we can use this as a sub bass so once again we're gonna turn this to 0 0.5 so it's low enough and right now there's no sound because we haven't activated in the matrix yet uh, so we go down to operator 2 and out so that's like a little loud so so maybe somewhere here. Yeah, that, that sounds pretty good. Um, we're going to be, uh, not the mod. We're going to go to volume and envelope. And we're going to enable the envelope. Because we don't want the sound to activate instantly in clashing with the squelch bass. So we're going to be slowly increasing the volume for this. So maybe somewhere here. I'm going to have this something like this. So what the squelch is going to do this. It's going to play from here and our sub bass is going to slowly take over. So something like this. Maybe a bit louder. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys learned a little something about sound design and by the way I'm not a professional so don't take my advice on everything but yeah hope you guys enjoy the sound and I'll see you guys next time bye